Hello, my nerds, and welcome to your daily dose of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. My name is Vanboy, and today's game is going to be a doozy. It stars a person that I've been doing quite a few casts on, and that is Poke Bunny. Poke Bunny is semi new, at least for me, semi new to the scene. He released a ton of replays, and I said, yeah, I'll, I'll showcase him on my channel. And then I saw this replay. And I said, I have to cast it. It is something that is just like, it, it must be cast. It must go up on the internet. Someone must cast this. So in the top left-hand corner, you have Poke Bunny as our Red Terran. And in the blue chunks, you have the one the only, the savior, as people were calling her, Scarlet. Yes, she is back. Scarlet uh, released a, uh, somebody released a huge replay back of her on the internet. So I was like, okay, poke bunny Scarlet, let's see what happens. So I don't cast a lot of ZV anything on my channel because I don't understand Zerg. And I kind of try to, I don't try to avoid it. It's, it's matches up, matches with Zerg in them is, it's common, but it's not uber common. So we're going to see what exactly happens on this. Uh, Scarlet should love this map because there's literally, for her second, there's gold minerals. So that's a thing. Uh, Scarlet has already gotten four lings out, already has speed halfway done. What does Poke Bunny have going on? Poke Bunny is getting uh, a reactor, another barracks, and I think that's about it. Yeah, I think he's going to go up to a three racks. Yep, he's going up to a three racks. But what's very interesting is Poke Bunny thought it would be okay to build his CC on the low ground. So, this SCV right here is going to probably be first blood, unfortunately. Uh, should be, if, if I'm not mistaken. There you go, first blood goes to Scarlet. Uh, first SCV kill goes to Scarlet. So, Reaper is on the way, or no, two Marines are on the way for, um, Puck Bunny. So, oh no, 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 Reaper is here. I don't know where the Reaper came from, but the Reaper is definitely here. But the first Marines that come out of the barracks are pretty much just dead instantaneously. And Poke Bunny does cancel his CC. But it looks like he's building one up on the high ground. And that's always a smart decision. Uh, factory, he did a 3 racks, and then into Factory he was hoping to have an expansion down here already. But it looks like Scarlet's just kind of saying, okay, I'm going to expand a lot. Uh, don't mind me, guys. So we're going to have to look out for what she does next outside of these lings. These lings are not going to hold Poke Bunny inside of his base for all that long. Uh, it is delaying the expansion, but what I'm thinking what Poke Bunny's going to do is he's going to try to build up as many forces as humanly possible and then as soon as his CC is done he's going to move on to the lower ground and try to take out all these lings. So what does Scarlet have going on? Scarlet doesn't have a whole lot of anything going on. He's She's basically just droning up and expanding a ton. Uh, it looks like the Roach Warrant has started so she's going to go into Roaches. But right now it's pretty much uh, it looks like she, Poke Bunny doesn't want to move down and off of the high ground until, uh, his uh, CC is completely done morphing into a good old orbital command. So, that's the thing. Does, he does lose the Reaper, unfortunately, but it's, sh he should have a tank here shortly. Oh, maybe not. But, uh, no tanks quite yet, but 
lots and lots and lots of good old roaches. Roaches are here. No balings that I can see. No baling nest. And that's kind of semi-unusual. No baling nest quite yet. Oh, speaking of baling nest. Where are you? Oh, there you are. It's right next to the roach warren. Okay. Right next to the roach warren. But it does look like Poke Bunny is wanting to uh, move on out and give his expansion a little bit of breathing room. And I don't blame him. He does have stem almost done. It's like 85% done. So that's a thing. But roaches are here. Roaches out really maneuver marines because roaches are extremely, extraordinary tanky. Very, 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 very tanky. Did I see... Was that the... Bailing nest finishing up? Ye uh, nope. Ah, uh, yes. But 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17 little old, I don't know, bailings in production. These marines are going to get uh, a world of hurt if they don't move. Spread, marines, spread. But uh, here we go. Here goes the bloody carnage that is... A bailing running right into a bunch of marines and a bunch of SCVs. But it looks like... Ah, uh, he may hold. Yeah, he's... Nah, uh, maybe not. He may not hold. Uh, if Scarlet keeps running in, zergling after zergling after zergling, he may have not held. But just with a handful of marines, somehow Poke Bunny does hold that attack off. But right now, Scarlet's like, okay, you want to really play game? I'll do that. But he, she has stopped producing pretty much anything that doesn't... I mean, more drones going up to a lair. Uh, more gas. Looks like she made two evo evolution chambers. So that's the thing. But it looks like the small marines are going to try to take on an army. And that's that's just not going to work. Unfortunately, that's just not going to work, guys. With the small amount of marines that she he has just not going to just not going to work, unfortunately. The siege tanks are out. So that's a thing. Uh, more barracks being added on. Starport is here, but it just... Poke Bunny needs to expand. If he doesn't expand, he's just falling farther and farther behind. Does pick up a queen. That's that's always a good idea. Uh, the more queens that he kind of picks up here and there is a good idea, but that engagement did not go good for him at all. Siege Tank is here, so a little bit more leverage, but not a ton. Uh, so yeah, we're kind of at a stalemate, but Scarlet's actually winning the stalemate, unfortunately. Um, not unfortunately for Scarlet, but it looks like he, she may lose a hatchery here, uh, possibly, may lose a hatchery. Uh, could she lose a hatchery? Uh, Lings are counterattacking at the same time. She does lose a hatchery. But the Lings have made it right inside because one of the supply depots was down, unfortunately. But there goes a lot of SCV kills. A ton of SCV kills, actually. We can actually look at the SCV loss. Six to three. That's not as bad as I was thinking. But worker supply is 27 to 54. Wow. Uh, army supply is pretty even. 56 to 63. So, yeah, even enough, but it looks like Pathan's lands and upgrades for his her roaches, and that's quite a few queens. That's three queens. Ravengers are out for Scarlet, so this could be um, game winning or just another tactic in her little whole, uh, I don't know her strategy book but if you could if he could take out those three queens that would be a major blow to him 
But if he could take out this whole entire army, that would be a huge, huge blow for her. So, maybe not. But Ravagers are here. There's not very many of them. Queen does go down, unfortunately. Uh, more Ravagers are being morphed in at the moment. But uh, I, I just don't see how this is going to really hurt Scarlet that much. It's making her produce units, but she wants to produce units. Really, what she wants to do is expand again. But as soon as she can force back Poke Bunny's army far enough, she can expand. And that's what she wants to do, is expand. No... Oh, yes, Infestors are here. Infestors are here. Uh, kills the siege tank on the high ground, but uh, it looks like... Oh, yeah, she gets the other siege tank. So, seven marines in production currently. One actual tank and one medevac. Does, she, does he not have... Oh, yeah, he does. He just... Mo oh, he doesn't have the money. Oh, my. He just expanded, too. He's just now on three bases. Scarlet is on four currently. Wants to go up to five. But I think Poke Bunny is pretty much on the, his last... Oh, my goodness gracious, that's a lot of... That would have been a deadly fungal. If she, if she could have gotten all those medevacs with all those fungals, if she could have chain fungled, oh my goodness gracious, that would be the end of Puck Bunny's army. I mean, that would just, that would have been the end. I mean, that would have been the entire end. But Ravengers, Lurker, or not Lurkers, but Ravengers, Infestors, and a couple wings here and there just to add on DPS and chase down things. But uh, that's about it. 26 good old lings in production currently. Two more roaches and two more infestors. But I think this is this is the uh, death blow here. No planetary fortress down at the low ground at his third. So I, I just, I don't think this is, this is recoverable. But it looks like Poke Bunny is going to try to fight out to the end but Poke Bunny has to withcall his third base and without that third base he's pretty much broke. He's broke now. He only has 150 minerals going down to 70 or 80 every single second. So yeah. Uh, armor is coming down for Poke Bunny and even an armory. Wow! He's getting an armory. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, but here comes a major attack from Scarlet, but uh, it looks like Poke Bunny knew it was the end by that point and said GG. Two medevacs got caught by Fungal, but and that was one of the important ones that had a siege tank in it. That siege tank was dead. Uh, only had one siege tank left, and then the third would have been Toast. Yeah. There's just no real recovery for Poke Bunny. Poke Bunny just, I guess, sat around trying to fight off this, ex trying to get this expansion way too long. I mean, Scarlet denied the expansion, expanded herself, expanded twice that I know of, while Poke Bunny was trying to get his second. So, yeah. The, it, it's a numbers game, people. Numbers game. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. Uh, support me by subscribing to the channel. Uh, leave your positive or negative feedback down in my comment section. And I will see you guys in the next game. Bye for now.